Okay, so we have question number 21 from specimen paper from 2020, which um, is going to be the new syllabus. Okay, although this part of it will be st is still from what we're doing. Okay, graphs of functions and recognizing different types of graphs. Uh, we're given six different graphs, okay, of different shapes, and we're given four different equations, and we have to put the correct letter underneath the correct equation. So we have to match the graph with this equation. So if out of these six graphs, four of them, the letter that represents them must be written in this table underneath the correct equation for it. So let's start with the first one, y equals x plus 1. Now y equals x plus 1, this is a linear graph, which means it's going to be a straight line, so it'll be curved. It's in the form y equals mx plus c. I'll just write it down. Maybe I can write it up here. So y equals x plus 1 y equals x plus 1. It's in the form y equals mx plus c. So the gradient of this graph is 1, and the y-intercept is also 1. So we know that it must be a straight line. So out of all these graphs, it can either be a or e. Okay, straight away we can tell it's either one of those two. Okay, so now we can see that the, the y-intercept is 1, so this has got y-intercept of 1, and this has a one of one. So you can see that so far, both of them still could be graph for y equals m x, uh, x plus 1. However, the thing that will make us realize is the gradient. Here we have gradient is equal to 1. It's a positive gradient. Positive gradients always slope upwards from, from left to right. Negative gradients always slope downwards from left to right. So this slopes downwards. And the gradient is not 1 either. You can see that it's not, the gradient is not 1. Okay, over here, we can see the gradient is 1. For every 1, it goes up, it goes 1 to the right. It goes up 1 and cross 1. Rise over run. It's going up, so it must be E. So for the first graph, it's E. For the second graph, Y equals 1 minus X over 3. Well, there's only un one other linear graph, so it must be A. But we can see also it's got a negative gradient, and the gradient is minus 3. If you find the gradient of this, I mean, this is the point 0, 1, this is the point 3, 0. If you found the gradient of this, you're going to have 1 minus 0 over 0 minus 3, which is going to be negative uh, 1 third. So this is going to be in the form y equals minus the third x minus, oh sorry, plus 1. So you can see it goes through 1, and the gradient is minus the third. So it must be a, although we didn't have to go through all of that, we could have just, if e is graph, the first graph, if E is the first graph, then A must be the second graph because they're the only two linears. Okay, then you have Y equals 2X squared. Now, X, the Y equals X squared type of graph is either smiley face or frowny face. Okay, so smiley face, if it's a positive um, in front of the X squared, and it's a frowny face if it's a negative in front of the X squared. Now, we can see here that they're both opening up with smiley faces. So, that, that's not what's going to distinguish them. If we look at the equations that we have here, we have, we have y equals 2x squared. So when you've got y equals 2x squared, okay, we can see that when x is 0, y is 0. Now this graph, when x is 0, y is minus 2. In this graph, when x is 0, y is 0, so it must be this one. So c must be y equals 2x squared. Okay, y equals, this would be y equals, if it was the same, um, you know, width, y equals 2x squared minus 2. This is y equals 2x squared. So that's going to be graph, let me make sure I write the right one down, c. Graph C. Then you have y equals minus 4, y equals minus 4 divided by x. Now, of course, it can't be any of these three. It's out of these two. Okay, this is a reciprocal graph where there are certain values that x can't take. x can never be 0. x can never be 0. So that's called an asymptote. If x is 0, it's undefined. And similarly, if I rearrange it, it will be x equals minus 4 over y. y can also never be 0. So that's another asymptote placed with a line. Quite curve will never touch. So it's out of either D or F that this is going to be the correct graph. Now, we should be able to recognize it, but if, in case you don't recognize it, we could just do something very simple. We say, okay, when x is equal to, say, 1, y is going to be minus 4. When x equals 1, y is going to be minus 4. Well, it's not this one. Okay, it must be this one. When x is 1, y is negative. So whenever x is positive, y is going to be negative. Whenever x is negative, y is going to be positive. So it must be graph D. Okay, so there we have that question 
fun to do about graphs of functions. Okay, that's quite a, a nice little question there. Thank you for watching. For watching.